Hello everybody, my name is Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, uh, we began working on building an 11th fleet and with the intention of getting us up to 12 fleets in total um, to prepare for the next war because, again, this fight down here is going to be very nasty. I want more ships, um, if possible. Well, it's always possible, but you know, we want more ships, so we're going to... Taking a little time to take care of that. And while working on that, our vassal state, the Mirovandia nation, um, has had a machine uprising. So we have fallen back a couple of fleets to deal with that nonsense. So we've um, already dealt with the enemy fleets. And now we are working on retaking the planets. So that is the plan. Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, system. Yep, no problem. You can go over there, land your armies. That's good. Um, you're heading for the fully, planet fully. We'll deal with that. We've retaken this system. There are no armies here, so we can just take our army here and tell them to retake that planet. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and tell my fleets to head to that system as well, just in case the enemy decides to show up. Because while I did defeat their fleets, they are not completely destroyed. I don't think we've completely destroyed them. Did we completely destroy them? Well, we completely destroyed those ships. But there might still be another couple kicking around, so I don't think we're going to get complacent here. And pretty much every month we can just request more ships. Still unless the order completed their sentry array. Ah, there we go. As anticipated. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Alright. Completely destroyed there. We've also got ourselves an archaeological site event. A haunting specter. Despite our constant research, the identity of the radio waves could not be unveiled, but in the deepest part of the city... A document was discovered in which an individual recorded the radio waves. The corpse of said individual is keeping the document from being accessed by others, and some of our expedition teams are reluctant to access it since they do not know how dangerous it might be. This document is contained within a 7th level security device, which requires a lot of energy to unlock. Oh, uh, yeah, keep going. Where is this? Oh, it's in the handy system. Okay, well, we'll find out what's going on there. Initiating ground assault. Our warriors are victorious. Our warriors are victorious. All right, we've retaken that. We've retaken this. We need to get our troops down to this system.
yeah, I, I, I anticipated that, you know, Scientific we're going to be giving these systems back. In fact, we, we want to give these systems back because I don't necessarily want to control them. Alright, shield hit points. There we are. Uh, let's see. How many troops do you have? Four armies? Yeah. Irizuka to Solar has completed construction of a gateway. Okay. The Nidavellir Hyperforge's processing ring has been completed. Colossal foundries take imported materials and extract neutronium and fuse them together to fabricate the purest alloys in the galaxy of unrivaled quality. We are close. Monthly upkeep will go up to 3,000. And also cost us one influence. Well, we got plenty of influence. All right. Minerals, we can support it, I think. Well, hold on. We need to wait for a month to pass to actually get the uh, the totals to update. Initiating ground assault. Uh, plus three, eight, eight, seven, five, four. Yes, we can afford it. Well, we can we can afford the monthly upkeep. We can't afford to actually cut start the construction because we need thirty two thousand alloys, which uh, I don't have. I probably won't have for a while because I'm spending those alloys on building ships. I mean, that's, that's fine. I mean, we need to build the ships. Battleship, 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 battleship. Okay, we got battleships going. And the Titan is queued in. Okay, so that's good. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. All right, there we are. Next in line is the Beta Pictora system. Only two armies there, so this should be relatively easy.
Alright, how are we doing here? Okay, you're ready to be invaded. in the 11th fleet. Nope, Initiate they're at full strength. Victory shall be ours. All right, excellent. Uh, fleet manager. The... Next fleet. Our warriors are victorious. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Twenty five of each of those. Ten of each of those. Warriors are victorious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, there we are. Okay. Go ahead and order those in. Come on. Oh, we're waiting for... There we go. All right, so we should have full control of this. Indeed, we do. Only two armies guarding that planet. Thirteenth Fleet? No. You are the Twelfth Fleet. There we go. Is the 11th fully armed? No, we're still waiting for ships. Okay. Still waiting for a uh, Titan and a few battleships. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. All right, soft spot identified. We identified a soft spot in the colony Pollux Prime. Go ahead and uh, investigate. Situation log updated. Soft spot. Yeah, go ahead and research it. Our 
warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. Good deal. We actually have some decent defenders, so we're going to hold off on landing armies until uh, they get um, eliminated. Special project complete. The other end of the viewer revealed an empty area covered with multiple tiny polyhedrons. Occasionally, the polyhedrons would pile together and assemble into large objects somewhat close to spherical shape and roll out of view. Soon another sphere would arrive from di a different direction and disintegrate into a pile of polyhedrons, restarting the process. Okay. Fractal Dreams modifier added for 120 months, giving the effect engineering research and jobs plus 25%. Oh, perfect. Another admiral. What I like. Ship fire rate, evasion, and sublight speed. We'll go with you. All right. Everything's done there except for the Titan. Which is being built 468 days. Youch. Okay. Uh, we need scientific breakthrough achieved. Have been capacity good. How long to the first stage of this is done? Three hundred and thirty three days. Here, as far as bombardment goes, uh, still, still a ways. I have two fleets bombing them, so. I actually have an assault army here. Yeah, looks like it. bunch of cruisers. Alright. I think we want these guys both to be on aggressive.
Well, so that's going to take a little while. I'd like to at least get rid of two of those armies. And then we can land. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, energy credits from jobs, energy weapon damage next. Yeah, we are, you know, upkeep is starting to become a thing for the, uh, the fleet. We're going to cost us energy credits, so hopefully we can get this thing done soonish. So we'll start, um, generating more energy credits for us. All right, Haunting Spectre, Manifesto. Behemoth Planetcraft movement systems are done. All right. Let's pause it here for a second. All right, as our expedition team finally bypasses the security device, a thin piece of document is revealed with a simple title written on it. To our disappointment, the contents of the document were mostly unimportant. It is a written document filled with words like struggle and unity, this might be related to the slaves' revolt. Our expedition team reports that no brainwashing effect was found in or on this document, but our team suggests that we send the document to, ha to our home planet for, for more precise investigation. A specter is haunting the galaxy. Egalitarian ethics attraction plus 200%. Relic found the Communist Manifesto. Okay. Or we can discard the document, giving a minerals from jobs minus 5% for 10 years. We're going to discard it. I can take the mineral hit. I do not have that egalitarian ethics. All right. The weapon systems now need 80,000 minerals. This is in the Shoop system. Right. Um, Yamic Singularity. Is there anything that I want to do with that? Well, we have the Xantar's Black Hole, which has a matter um, decompressor. Another matter decompressor is being built in Sagittarius A. We have Clansen uh, Vortex, which we could do something with as well. My inclination... Scales of the Worm... Physics research speed plus 10%. If we utilize it, we get a research speed plus 20% for 10 years and plus oh, minus 5 stability. Nah, that's not worth it. Even another bountiful system might not be worth it. I think we're, we're probably good. Good for now. I think what we might do is build Enrosphere Stellar System Craft Construction Site. Let's see. This generates 762. Hold on. 
762 energy credits per month with a total cost of 20 30,000 30,000 alloys you produce 4,445 energy credits plus 1,200 uh, engineering science and 15 dark matter. Yeah, let's get another one of those going. Or hold off on the Nidavellir Hyperforge for the moment. Well, we're holding off on all the other mega structures uh, until these fleets are up to full strength. And if I need another matter decompressor, we'll go to Clansin Vortex. And I should also... I have control of the Gathry Maelstrom as well. All right, where are we at? Still not quite there. You know what? We're going to go. If I got to replace an army or two, I've got to replace an army or two. So be it. Do we have that Titan yet? No. It's still only half done. Initiating ground assault. I mean, they shouldn't stand a chance against us. I don't think we're going to lose anything either, so that's good. Very dense mineral veins. World engineering. Colossal cliffs. Good stuff. I think I'm going to return this system... Energy sort fall, I don't care. Um, we're going to offer them a trade deal, and we're going to give them... I apparently can't give their system back to them.
Alright then, I guess I control that system. So be it. Let's get a construction ship over there to replace those, uh... Place those. Alright, excellent. Army morale and ship weapons damage. Is that damage or range? Yeah, damage. Okay, so first fleet. Let's get you back in position. And the fourth fleet. Oh, where did you come from? Probably over here. No, it was over there. I don't have any ships over here. Mm. That's all right. Shouldn't be an issue. Still don't have that Titan queued in yet. All right, the transport fleets. Go ahead and join back up with the other transport fleets. And then I think we are done for the day. Uh, we just need to get the 11th and 12th fleets fully fitted, which we basically we need to finish the Titan. And only a cup. Well, another Titan needs to get built. Right, Megastructure build speed. Give me strike craft damage. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get those fleets filled out next episode. And then we'll hopefully be ready to go. All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.